Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to show you how if you're running multiple monitors on a Windows machine, how you can basically take your different monitors and have a separate background for each one. So whenever you apply a desktop background within Windows, you're really applying one single image, but you can make it so that that one single image, the different sections of that image, will get applied to separate monitors. So in my case, because I have three monitors which are side by side, what I have to do is figure out the total, uh, basically, dimensions of all my monitors combined. So all my monitors have a 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel high resolution. And since they're side by side, I basically just need to triple my width. Uh, this might change a bit if you have um, four monitors and they're too high and too wide then that would adjust appropriately. It would be double the height and then double the width as well, assuming that each monitor has the same resolution. Um, but once again, in my case, just triple the width and that gets me three monitors side by side worth of image space. Then I basically take these dimensions, 5760 pixels, 1080 pixels into a program like GIMP, set up a new document, in this case, I created uh, pixel perfect guides, one at 1920 pixels and one at 3840 pixels, I believe, um, to basically mark the boundaries of each monitor. And from here, you could take three of your regular backgrounds, uh, maybe three that you've created yourself or that you've dragged from somewhere online, and place them in their respective spaces here. So I can go ahead and do that here really simply. Uh, of course, make sure Snap to Guide is enabled, whether you're working in Photoshop or in GIMP. And you should be able to get it uh, right really quite easily there. I'm not sure if that's pixel perfect there. But uh, we're not going to worry about it too much. Okay, close enough. Um, so once you have that, you can, of course, export this as a new image anywhere on your computer. So we can say three monitor desktop. But before we actually uh, apply it, and there is one more setting that you guys are going to need to know about um, to get this to work properly, I want to point out that um, in the display settings, screen resolution, I believe it is, which you would get to at control panel display screen resolution, um, you got to understand that the numbering of your monitors and I mean the numbering in here, not the order in which you have them laid out physically, is going to correspond with the image or section of your image gets shown. Um, so in this case, uh, whatever is on the left hand side in this GIMP image or in, in this PNG, whatever image format you're using, is going to show on image number one. And that's the, uh, the actual identifier number, not the ordering of your monitors, but the actual identifier number here in the control panel display screen resolution. So number two is going to show whatever is in the middle here, uh, because uh, that's the second space. And whatever is showing on the right in this case, the third section is going to show as monitor number three. I uh, just want to point that out to you guys if you get confused about why the ordering might seem a little weird. Um, in some cases. So anyway, once you have it exported as a new image, we can go ahead and open up Start Control Panel, go to Personalization, Desktop Background, and from here you can essentially just select the image that you exported um, from wherever it is on your computer. But what you have to note here, and this is the setting that's important, is that the picture position needs to be set to tile. If you're running on default window settings, it may be set to fill. And uh, I'll show you with fill really quick, how I have the Skyrim background. With fill, each monitor is going to have the same image, uh, even though this image is actually large enough for three monitors. Uh, because it's using fill, it basically crops out the side. When I change it to tile, uh, I mean, I, I did that off screen, but when I set it to tile, um, then it allows each section of that image to apply to a different monitor. So we'll have the same thing apply over here by selecting the new 
um, the, the new background we've created of three separate backgrounds. It's set to tile. We can hit save changes. And if we go between the different monitors, you can see that each monitor now has its own image, uh, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now, you might notice in my case, because I was slightly off with the pixels, um, you can see some extra white space there. So you do have to make sure you get it right. It needs to be pixel perfect if you want separate backgrounds on each of your different monitors. Um, and you can use the GIMP guides in order to do that. Guides also exist in Photoshop and uh, probably some other good photo editing software out there. So in any case, that should be all you guys need to get started with having different image backgrounds for a multi-monitor setup. I've been Chris. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.